But going to the moon was definitely the option. So let's bring up our contracts and make sure I'm really bad for make for missing fine prints. So bring back Moonstone with you. Usually it gives you some sort of indication where to go. So I'll check on the details. Let's see. Uh, gather deployed mystery goose. So we need to make sure we have that. Plant a flag. Uh, science data from the surface of the moon. That'll be easy enough. The, and then the Keo stationary orbit one. We'll hide that one for now. So it'll be these four we're going to go for. Um, no mention of, no, other than making sure you got, no, we're, we're good. So, let's think about a plan here. I kind of am really enjoying this, or should I go, if I go with the pomegranate, I haven't used any of these roundy ones yet. If I go with the pomegranate, I can do, uh, this can hold up the three kerbals. I think I might base this. I got fairings now, right? Don't I have fairings? I do. I have, yeah, I have good sized fairings. So I should be able to, where's my science? Not even paying attention. Oh, well, whatever. Should have looked to see if I can, no. Stop yabbering. Let's do, okay. So <laughs> this is uh, Jeb, Bill, and Bob. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, Jeb hasn't been to the moon yet, I don't think for our pilot. No, Jeb's only orbited Kerbin. I think Val's actually orbited the moon. So Jeb will get the most of this. So we'll we'll bring Jeb along. Um, we're gonna need to put some sort of inventory space under here. So what do we got? We got these guys, okay. So let's think about how we're gonna just sort of set up our orbiter here a little bit for, well, first of all, parachute. Let's not forget that. This is the, that's too big. This is just the Mark 16. Is that going to be big enough? I'm not really. This thing is almost two tons. I'm thinking that I'm a little nervous about that. What are? Let's go with a couple of the radial ones. Okay, we might pretty that up in a little bit, and we'll make sure the hatches aren't. But I'm a little nervous about the um, the parachuting. This thing's pretty heavy. Okay, uh, we need some form of... So what do we got for structural stuff? This is the big guy. I don't want that. How about this? Oh, oh, oh look at you. Yes, you're going under there. And then... Um, how big is that? That's... Oh, that's actually nice too, but nope. I don't have anything. That's down to 1.25 meter right oh I don't have the little uh, I don't have the really little stuff yet here let's this is gonna be our our moon lander I just want to see I, I I'm a little disappointed I don't have like things like the octo I, I'm sorry John I see you're saying there you should be enough shoot but you think just the single one will be enough shoot or are you saying the two should be enough shoot? <laughs> I'm just noticing the comment now. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, my science situation. Okay, so only 66 science. Okay, forget it. Back to here. Life is dis... Oh, you know what I could do? What is a better plan entirely? Better plan. Better plan. We're going to get the 1.875 meter fairing. Don't build the fairing. Turn on the interstage nodes. Okay, it's, it's finding itself a funky, I don't like that. So we're gonna, it's actually hooking to the top node. I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this the root part much better. Actually, I'm thinking now, now that I'm looking at it, I think the smaller fairing would be better. Interstage nodes. It's doing the same thing again. So I'll make this the root part. That's better. So what I'm just trying to do is create a little bay here so that I can stick in things like my material science. Oh, that is not. Okay, I'm going to have to. 
Okay, material science is going under here. It's bigger than I thought it was. Um, we're going to put in some cargo. That's the thing I was thinking about. So how about one of these guys? They can hold, they have three cargo slots. I don't think I need much. I think I'm overcomplicating this by a lot. I am. Get, get away. This can just go under here. This go under here. There we go. Okay. And into that cargo container, let's put the cargo tab. I got to put in the, the, uh, goo -ob, goo -ob, whatever it is. That's the Mr. Deployed Mystery Goo Experiment. That's for this fella. You also need to have a control system to get any of this to work. And you're also going to need solar panels. Now, is this enough? Uh, it, I always find this so confused. Oh, required power units is one. Required power units is one. So I need two power units. And this will have two power units with a level two engineer. So I'm good. I got, I got it covered. So that, that, that'll be fine for cargo. I'm also going to bring along the experiment kit like that. What else we got for science? Still might do that thing with these. Here, turn it the other way. Still might do that thing with the, um, oh, what am I trying to say? The fairing. I got a barometer. Just a barometer and a thermometer and that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Okay, fine. Stick the barometer under there. We'll stick a thermometer under here. You think the 16 should be good enough for a safe landing? Okay, I'm going to take your word for it. And then if these people die, we know whose head this is on. There we go. There we are. I think I've done it with the 16. I just, I just can't remember. Okay. Um... So that's all my science, isn't it? I don't have as much as I like to think I do. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I know I've gone back and forth on this. But I'm gonna you know, just take that out. I'm going back with the... Um, Cause I'm gonna need to put this in a fairing anyway. So it makes 100% sense. Turn on those interstage nodes. Make it the root part to just use this fairing anyway. And then I can, it can double to come around this thing during ascent. And now I can stick this guy in here and this under here and there. That takes care of our sciencey stuff. I can put on, what's my electrical situation? Oh, the batteries are not super. Stick that in there. We'll do this stupid solar panel trick that I did before. Two way symmetry, so there's one on each side. We'll cover. Sure, this will be fine, he says. And an antenna. Communitron 16 antenna, right? Here, yeah, come off a bit to the side so it's not going through there. Like that. Maybe a little bit of a downiness to it. Oh, I'm on two way symmetry here. I only need one. There we go. A little bit of downiness. So it'll be easier to cover with the fairing. That's what that's about. That looks good. And then, uh, do I have any of those silly little ladder parts? I do. Ooh, that's sweet. If I put, these don't drag too much, do they? Maybe they do. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm just thinking of like when I EVA a Kerbal, it'd be nice to sort of just, this is going to be a tall lander. I can already tell that with what I'm doing. Oh, well, <laughs> just don't, uh, don't fall over. I don't think I want to put this on the top, do I? I think that'll look funny. All right, we'll deal. Okay, so um, that's the science part. Let's think about propulsion and all this stuff. So I'm pretty sure, oh, this one, all I gotta do is plant a flag. Okay, sometimes you have to actually bring back the craft that actually sat on the surface of the moon. And that can be, if you're going to do an Apollo style one, a bit disappointing. Um, but I think what I'll do... I think I'm going to live with this. Do I have any... I have a fuel can like this. Yeah, put that fuel can. 
I want to build something that if it were sitting on the surface of the moon, it would be able to get itself back. And I did a little bit of looking down the Delta V maps before I got started with this and worked out that that's about 110 meters per second. And that's being kind of generous. Um, 110 meters per second I want to get. So what I'm going to do is just stick an engine under here. We'll start with a Terrier and I'm looking for move this out of the way back. This is in a very dumb spot that can stay at the bottom. That's cool. That's on the top. Okay. So why do I have no Delta V? That's very strange. I move this to the bottom. There it is. I move that to the bottom. It disappears. You must be thinking I'm staging that for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. 1513. Okay, that's already pretty cool. That's already pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that. So around with different configs here well that one um wow okay put on some landing struts this is by the way for those people in the chat where i have the greatest challenge reading the chat because i'm, I'm i kind of really do concentrate when i'm building but this is also where i get people in the chat going you're forgetting this and you're forgetting that so if that's going to frustrate you, I think I need the bigger ones. I apologize. Oh, I don't like how tall it is, but I'm not really sure it's going to be what it's going to be. Do I have ladders? Of course not. So it's going to be like that too. I got a plan to shorten this up. This is, I don't like it. Sorry, I don't like it. I don't like what I'm, I'm I don't like what I'm seeing here so what I'm gonna take that apart take that apart uh, take this whole business out of there a little ladder bit can come off oh that's oh it's because that's still the root part that's why the Delta V was getting all messed up sorry I'm changing my mind I just don't like how tall it was getting so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go with the other cargo container. This guy, just one of them. One-way symmetry. Stick that there. Are you, here, I'm just going to put you on top here for just a moment. Then the uh, goo. And thermometer. Barometer. Where can I put you antenna? Sure, for there for now. Uh, oh, solar panels have to go somewhere. Okay, I'm just gonna stick stuff from my <laughs> Dude, dude, dude. Uh, what kind of electricity is in this thing? There's 50 units. Okay, that's cool. So parachute back on. Uh, get some different batteries. Totally different. I, I, I just did not like how tall it was getting. That's really what this is about. Maybe three of these. Sure. Like that. And then we'll put the ladder bit here. Again, this the idea with the ladder bit is just so Kerbal can get to the science. Uh, I'm thinking that was going to be in the way. Okay, just put it. <laughs> okay, put two-way symmetry and put one on each side. I just wanted it to be shorter. So there's all the same stuff just on a shorter rocket. I like it better. That gets gone, that gets gone, that gets gone, that gets gone. That's much better. I think that's much better. All right, so that's 1536. So if this thing were sitting on the surface, it could get back really easily. In fact, if anything, I might... What's the... Oh, thrust to weight's beautiful. Hmm. 
tumbles. Uh, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with what we got. What other engines do I got? No, I think it's good. I, th I think the spark will be too... No, no, no. I don't want to go there. It's good. It's good. Uh, just leave it. Yeah, uh, um, deployable... Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is empty. Thank you for deployable science and the lights will come in. I always do the lights at the end, but I threw away the deployable science. Um, the container. So I got to get that back. So I need one of these one of these you better oh don't 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 no it's slower volume you 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 ah uh, okay i'm gonna need two of these then this might still work one of these one of these one of these are they different masses that's 15 kilograms that's 40 that's five okay so take the thing that's 40 and put it by itself. Yes. So, these two guys. That, that's just for balance. Okay. Still gonna go with it this way. Okay, and then this can go here. This can go under here. This can go here. I'm spending entirely too much time just with all this fiddly stuff. Okay. But that allows me to move my ladders closer to where the science is. I obviously had two-way symmetry on during that business, so this is just a single. This is just a single. This is just a single. I think that's still tolerable. Okay, we're going with it. I'm getting too picky. Okay, lights. Gotta have light. Oh, solar panels. Um, That's easy. Solar panels. Um, Four-way symmetry with the solar panel, so I should have that. Yep. Battery three. Well, four-way symmetry, but then we're throwing this one away. Move some symmetry. Bye bye. All right. There we go. That's looking good. Okay, lights. Lights. EVA science box. Uh, I do have the EVA science box. A briefcase thingamajig. I just don't don't break something. <laughs> don't break anything and you'll be fine. Uh, lights. 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 So I want the brighter of these two. This is this one. The Illuminator Mark 1s. Something like that. Okay, why is this on there? That's better. I completely have these the wrong way around. Turn them 180 degrees this way. Much better. So these are for landing. I always find it easier, even if you land in the daytime, to have lights that come on is, uh, I think, super helpful. Make them white? Sure, white. Um, and what I like to do in the action groups is instead of having them in the gear action, or light action group, I put them in the gear action group and then they'll toggle on when you toggle on the landing gear. Okay, other lights. Um, need the standard red and blue I want to think of somewhere where they're gonna go where it's not going this is the hatch where it's not going to ah, not really helping on that front is it okay I, put, I don't want them I yeah this is stupid window I don't like you know what I think I'll do this Just slide them down a little bit. So they're just below that window. 
toggle them white. Uh, this is the hatch, so this is the port side. So say hello to red, Mr. Port Light. And this guy is the green one, but I'm noticing I don't like the way that's angled. So I'm just gonna grab that and just rotate it just a little bit. Doesn't help that you're putting a flat light on a very round surface. I can live with that. Okay, um, and then this guy here is gonna be green. So we're gonna remove it from symmetry first, of course, and then that's green. Okay, so that's good. Blue lights on the top. Mark where the hatch is, because our kerbals get lost very easily. And some sort of blinky lights, I think they make most sense down here. On the dorsal and ventral, so I'm on two-way symmetry. That goes on there. Uh, these will be white. They will blink quickly. Quick blinkers, blink on. And then another one like that, that will blink the other way. Together a little bit. And I'm gonna remove this from symmetry and make just this single one an amber light and move its blink frequency up to that. Okay, that's pretty good. Any other textures available to me here? There's this one. Oh, I kinda like that. I do like that. I do like that, which makes me want to change these to gray. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so um, that is a lander. What's my delta? Again, I'm going to check this. Uh, 1.13 del delta V, or thrust to weight, delta V of 1470. So if this thing were sitting on the surface of the moon, it could easily get itself back to Kerbin. So next is to build something that can get it to the surface of the moon. And for that, I need a total delta V. This is getting to the surface and back. I got here written down 3,020 meters per second plus about an extra odd thousand. So I'm looking for something in around um, 4,000. And that will do the upper part of the insertion, which I always like to do too. So a TD-12 decoupler goes there. We're going to just take away the engine shroud because I think it looks funny. Right? That one. There we go. And uh, now I'm going to put on my, my fairing. I'm going to get this 1.85 meter size fairing and we're going to just try and enclose all of this part and from here on in I want this thing to be a little bit the lower stage should be a little sleeker just closing all that in boom beautiful okay um Three sides, up the force, clamshell deploy because that always looks better. It's in a sensible spot, the decoupler, fix your staging as you go. Okay, so uh, that's that. Okay, what am I shooting for again? I said um, about 4,000. So I got now some decent 1.875 meter tanks. I got this, let's arrange these by mass. Wow, the bob oh the bobcat's pretty freaking heavy. I might get into some engine plates. I think the poodle's gonna be too much. Oh my god, the poodle's huge, huge. Uh reliant, swivel, spark. Yeah. Okay, all these engines are too big. So we're gonna get an engine plate. I should have let's put him back by name. This one? Yes. Now, I, I <laughs> when I did the engine plate before, I kind of made a botch of it. Um, and people were laughing at me, I'm sure. But I didn't turn up. I was trying to put a couple of terriers on here. And I was doing this kind of thing and having fun with it. Or trying to get... But, like, you can increase the number of nodes, right? That's the shortness. Isn't there a, a thing here for just the nodes? Somebody was telling me there's a thing here for the no Oh, attachment nodes. Yes, make it a double attach so you have two attachment nodes. 
Like, I was just being a doofus. So, if I do that... What's that look like? Vacuum. What am I shooting? 4,000. So this is not not nearly enough. It's also not nearly enough thrust. Maybe the, the poodle might be looking better. Maybe I need to get bigger. What if I get bigger? Get bigger! Oh, look at that. I think I need to get 2.5 on you. Now the poodle's gonna look better. Yep, still not enough. Okay, just need to be bigger. When in doubt, go bigger, right? That's the ballpark I'm talking about. That looks nice. What's the TWR at? Here, push this down to the bottom. Oh, that's even, if anything, a little on the big side. 1.37 is fine. Okay, okay. This is throw you away. We don't need engine plates. Maybe then... Oh, this fairing keeps wanting to be in a silly spot. A little bigger. This can be as tall as it wants because it's not going to land on the moon. This stage will be disabled before it gets to the moon. 3,800, a little more. Four thousand and eight. I like it. I like it. I like it. And thrust to weight is one point four three. I like that. I like that. I like that. I want to get that. I love that. That, that variant to me is like the nicest of the variants on the on the poodle. There we go. Okay, that can get thrown away. Uh, we'll play with that. So this can deal with the upper part of the insertion, and it can also deal with landing on the moon and getting back. So now what we just need to do is get you in orbit. Do I have a crew in here, by the way? No. Uh, who was it? Jeb, Bill, and Bob. Valentina's being left behind. So that did affect the Delta V a little bit. So maybe I need to make this a little bigger. Those guys need to go on a diet. There we go. 4,048. I'm sure... Yeah, thrust away still fine. There we go. There she is. That is our vehicle. Need to get you into orbit. Um... One thing to be conscious about is where this fairing is, because if you have it like in a funny spot, it does severely affect the delta V quite often because it's assuming you're carrying that weight all the way along. So make sure you get the fairing in, a, in about the right place. Uh, okay, booster, booster, booster. So uh, I need the bigger decoupler, that one, right? Yes, I do have it. I hate it when I all of a sudden find out I don't have a decoupler that big. My biggest tank is still this. Yeah. That is the X200-32 fuel tank. And my biggest engine, before I get into this, I don't want to get into the SRBs. I don't have the mainsail yet. I do have the skipper. Now that, I'm sure, is not enough thrust. It is certainly not enough thrust. So... We need to scale this down. That's okay. I'm looking to get a thrust here of about two-ish. This is going to be... Hmm. I think this is going to be mostly boosters, folks. <laughs> mostly boosters. Boosters and a lot of engines. Uh, that one? Nope. That one. So this is the middle stage, 1.81, I can probably make that work. Um, now I gotta go radial on here, so we're gonna get... Where are my decouplers? There we go. A pair of these TT70s, stick them on the side. We're gonna do some more Aspera, I guess this is staging, and a pair of these. And then back to our skippers again. These are going to go... Oh, no, 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 no. I want all of these engines on at the same time. And I'm looking really at that. I want a good launch thrust to wait. And do, I do have fuel lines, right? I do. So, Oh, yeah, because the uh, LKO ferry we just saw I used asparagus staging. And so I'm looking for a total delta V of 6,020. I'm already at... Oh, my gosh, this is already getting pretty big. I don't think I need this. I don't think I need to go as big. Well, 
What if I went with a 1.875 meter size? Scale this down just a little. Let's see. And then I've got me these Bobcat engines. Again, all of them on at the same time because I want a lot of thrust here on the bottom. Plenty of thrust. And now, where are those fuel lines again? Five thousand eight hundred. Okay, let's add on another pair of these. Six thousand. Still plenty of thrust. Yep, still plenty of thrust. I got lots of thrust here. Yeah, lots of thrust there. Okay, let's do another one. That's. There we go. I'm. I'm. I'm really close to. I'm not. Ooh, you know what? I might be short on. That guy. That guy. Oh no. That guy. 661. I like it. Still lots of thrust. That's good. I need... Uh, what do I got for nose cones? Do I have? That's too big. Oh, don't tell me I don't have any... Con oh, you know what I got. I got... I got, I got, I got. Take this off. That on. And that on top. What's that get me? 6,634. I'm happy. Misa happy. I shouldn't say that like that. That's a that's a terrible. Do that. There. Okay, this this is bugging me because for whatever reason it's just not lining up well. There we go. There. 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 Bobcats. No, those got to be on the same. 634. I like it. What do people think? <laughs> it's Jar Jar. <laughs> yeah. Don't do Jar Jar. Okay. Uh, there. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this is looking like a thing. This is looking pretty happy. Let's uh, put on some... How am I fixed for reaction wheels? My biggest ones are these guys but they're 1.25 let's see how we do with oh oh i have no reaction wheels there are no reaction wheels right in the uh, top pomegranate there are no reaction okay i need reaction wheels wow that is a major major oversight there i'm glad i noticed that so put in some advanced reaction wheels there gonna have to rebuild this fairing in a little bit I'm a little yeah it should be okay maybe if I used what do I have for aerodynamic control surfaces I'll use some of these winglets I'm a little control concerned just about control like that 6,000 where is this this oh this needs to be here A little bit more fuel. A little bit more fuel. Okay. Okay, tweak down the authority limiters on theirs because they're twitchy as anything. Uh, what do we got for different textures on you? Oh, just that and that. That's pretty boring. Go white. Okay, I need separatrons. There, take out most of the fuel because you don't really need much fuel. This is just to help those stages separate. them in a sensible place all right um oh i gotta rebuild this ferry is 
that. Um, when I, whenever I start playing with textures, you know I'm closing in on it. Really likes that dark, whatever. Okay, fine. Don't forget the struts. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I definitely need some struts. Thank you. Because uh, this business will be wonky here for sure. Actually, I should probably. Oh, I should be okay like that. I can't connect to that because that's actually a shroud over the engine. Fuel lines make them white too. Okay. All right. Um, I'm thinking. Okay. Go with that. Uh, do these have textures? They. Oh, they do. Oh, nice dark one. I'll go. Go with the white ones. Okay. Uh, launch clamps. There. There. Again, I have to make this. Oh, I guess I guess this isn't totally unsensible, but I, I like launch I like doing the launch clamps after. Okay, we gotta tweak the launch TWR. I think that's gonna be okay. Uh that's a little high. We're just gonna tweak tweak down these bobcat engines. Lot. Pretty good. Back to vacuum. 6,630 is what I ended up with. Okay. So. Um. I'm thinking I might have all my bases covered here on this. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything, but I think I'm doing pretty good. Let's just go through. Oh, I didn't put a launch escape system on it. <laughs> well, usually I like to do that, and then I don't. Then I forget, too. It's all... Actually, you know what we... If I put on the interstage nodes, do I have... Sorry, delete this fairing. I know, I know, I know people are, are rolling their eyes right now. Where's the interstage nodes? Interstage nodes on. Trust structure off. Interstage. Is there, it doesn't go that high? Really? Are you serious? Just hang on a sec. I might be doing some. It doesn't go high enough to fit it in there. Aww. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. Control Z. No launch escape system for you guys. There we go. <laughs> uh, engines are kind of in funny spots suddenly when I was doing that. Okay. Oh, this untweaked itself. That was my mistake. Okay, so I just wasted a bunch of time trying to get that interstate or that launch escape system on there, and now I gotta redo stuff I've done. Okay. Now the Delta V is 6,795, I don't know why. Let's check this all out, is this all sensible? It is, okay, I'm gonna take, what can I hook the fairing to? Brakes. I'm gonna put the fairing on the brakes action group. And the reason for that is I just, I like to have it on an action group. Oh, how am I getting this? Hang on. This might be a glitch, but I don't care. I got five. Okay, I'm gonna put that on five. Fine. Be that way. Then I'm gonna go to zero and put on that antenna. Toggle the antenna. 
Seems to be wanting to give me action groups anyway, okay? Um, I'm gonna launch. Time to go, time to go. Bum, 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 um, yeah, okay. Oh, I have no, oh that, did I lose all my Kerbals? That's why the Delta V is so good. There's nobody in here. They all, they all bailed. They ran away once they learned they weren't getting a launch escape system. <laughs> Okay, and as always, um, this is a test, unless it works, in which case it's a launch. Let's get rid of our contract, because we're not going to be satisfying any of these contracts today. Okay. If this works, it's a launch. If it doesn't work, it was a test and we're reverting. <laughs> okay, um, let's go. We're off. So these Bobcat engines, in case people don't know, are coming from the Making History uh, DLC as well as these 1.875 meter parts if I people probably in my tutorial series I have no mods at all not even the DLCs and the thing I miss the most about not having the DLCs are the 1.875 meter parts I really do I really love that this intermediate size they seem to be very very handy okay just trying to get this to not fall over too quickly. Let's try locking on there for a little bit. Nice clouds going by. Okay. That's if you notice it's falling over too quickly. Just lock the stability assist for a little bit and then it's, you know, pitching over much more slowly. It's much, much easier than fiddling around with the WASD keys. I think I'm about to lose my boosters. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, they, I know they have parachutes. There really is zero reason for a launch escape system in the game. Because even if you are playing with no reverts, which frankly I would never advise anybody to do because a Kraken attack can happen at any moment. But even if you're playing that you weren't going to revert this, um, if something went wrong right here, like if all of a sudden I didn't make orbit, they're going to come back down. The launch escape system is for things like, you know, things exploding down there and you need to get away fast, which kind of does happen in real life. So in real life it makes sense. In this game it, it never does, but I, I don't know. It's a nice role play thing to do. Okay, so, so far, sense going pretty good. We're gonna go for an 80 kilometer circular orbit. Right now, we're just getting at 42 kilometers on our apoapsis. Gonna reduce the throttle a little bit. And what I think I'll do is I'll just, again, leave the throttle right there. Not fiddle with it. And I'm thinking I might have overkilled it with these tail fins, but Probably would have been fine just with the little ones. But I was just a little bit... With them. As soon as you have big fairings, you get a lot of drag up there at the top. and Funky things can happen. Oh! Okay, that... Uh... Okay, I'm good. It's all good. <laughs> I wasn't watching the staging event. I had uh, the fairing stage at a funny spot, but not too bad. I usually like to f deploy the fairing at 50 kilometers. This is clearly a little bit before that, but I think it should be okay. I don't... Oh, no. My my time to apoapsis is starting to climb again. That's good. That happened earlier than I thought it would. I think we're fine, though. And my crew is good. Like, I'm looking at the supplies. Yeah. I have everything I need. Okay. Uh, where are we? I'm going to just reduce throttle here a lot. And just try and keep this apple assist from going up to my target. Let's reduce it a lot. A lot, a lot. Just to give myself time to get a little higher in the atmosphere that should probably reduce that drag loss I had before I 
Okay. Um, I f should be. I think I'm okay. I'm okay for Delta V. I should be good. I'm looking at what's left here. It's saying three thousand one hundred and eighty, and remember, I budgeted about thirty-two or three thousand and twenty for the whole mission once I get into low orbit. But I, th I think I'm I'm gonna get the orbit in less than yeah. My periapsis is already positive, so I'm gonna be fine. Oh my gosh, I'm not watching my apoapsis. Not watching my apoapsis. It's over eighty-five kilometers. That's okay. That much closer to the moon, right? that much closer to the moon. Let's time warp. You know what I should be doing too? Are there any material studies to do and stuff like that? I'm still in the upper atmosphere. 1.1 science. I gotta put Bob to work. Collect that Bob. Is there a mystery goo? 0.5 science Bob. We need to clean these up. I hate how those just go forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you get, each time you take it, it's just a little bit more, and then just a little bit more. All right. So my apoapsis is a little high, but that's, it's not a big, it's no big deal. I'm fine. Okay, so we'll clean off this insertion here. Just a little bit of a burn. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's start finishing this off. Get it to 85 by 85. Or thereabouts. That's good. Okay. So there we are. We are in an orbit. Uh, I'm going to have to send out Bob to collect some of this science. Maybe collect a little bit more. But we got 3,104 meters per second left to get down to the surface of the moon. And to get these folks back again. And to deploy some of that equipment. Let's get ourselves to the moon. So, uh, let's get rid of all the icons I see. I don't like all of that. Okay, so there's the moon. We're gonna set that as a target. This is now, the th like I said, the third time we've gone there, gone here, so. And I am trying in this series to, wow, okay, there we go. <laughs> I am trying in this series to go a little bit slower it's a little hard sometimes, I will admit, but to go a little bit slower and to um, try. Yes, I can see the chat there. I sometimes game, but I will admit that I I'm I'm I will miss things in the chat. I find it hard to look at two different things at the same time. So, uh, but because I'm not doing anything in the game, I'm suddenly looking at the chat. But I can see the chat, and I will try to respond as best I can. Okay, so uh, let's get ourselves to the moon. But like I said, I try to go a little bit slower. I'll, I'll see what I can do. So I want to put myself into a uh, prograde that, that is around any counterclockwise direction of the moon. But I want to get this periapsis in closer. And I like to do this using... Not everybody likes this little maneuver tool, the little widgety thing, but I, I do. So the first thing I'm going to do is just move ahead in time until this gets as close as it can just with that. And then we will go in. Now I'm going to go for about 12 kilometers. See, that's pretty, that's more than close enough. Let's get this down to just a one second thing. And again, I'm trying to just get as close as I can. So just by adjusting the time tools, and then that allows me to back off with the retrograde. And then that makes this, you know, being reasonably efficient there. That's pretty good. Um, so there we go. We got 848 meters per second now. Um, I was just thinking, I wrote down where I'm supposed to go. The Northeast Basin is this zone here. The Polar Lowlands, oh, I don't have my, I have to pull up my map, but we're, uh, you know what, I'm going to pull up my map and just sort of see. I want to try and, you really want to think before you get there where you want to go down. 
Polar Lowlands, Polar Lowlands. I'm looking at the map I have on a different screen. There it is. Um, I know that doesn't help you because you can't see. Oh, it's just the general zone. Isn't there a pole? Oh, no, that's the poles. Oh, they're little spots. Of okay, they're spots. Either They're both at the north and the south. Those are going to be hard to hit. And um, what else do I got? Sorry. Highland Craters. There is a Highland Crater. Again, I got to be a little bit careful. One of these... Well, you know, uh, yeah. You know what? Let's just do the burn and we'll think as we go. That's what we'll do. Okay, so this burn's coming up in 15 minutes. We'll do, a, or 17 minutes. Do a quick save. I'm going to put this on free. Let's get over there. What's the thrust of weight? 1.69. Every once in a while, I like to check on how the thrust of weight is doing. I, I don't like it when it's really huge. But as you lose fuel, of course, your thrust of weight gets higher. Okay. Push that around. So for our crew, as you can see, we're kind of right down to the original three. Yes, for those people that don't know, Valentina was a add-on in beta. Uh, a valuable add-on, but these were the original three, Jeb, Bill, and Bob. Okay, I'm gonna I don't like seeing that engine gimbal around too, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. Let's do this thing. So yeah, we'll be doing about halfway a mid-course correction of some time, some kind to try, and so we're not going into an equatorial orbit. And maybe for those people that missed the stream, well here, let me start the burn and then I'll talk. Got 10 seconds to the burn. But uh, last stream is when I built and launched this thing. So if you want to see the build, you have to go to last week's stream. Boom, we're off. And the, I like, I think this is the simplest, there's lots of ways of designing a moon mission. And I think this is the simplest one where you have your lander, which is capable of getting you back home. And then you have a transfer vehicle, which will get you out there that you will dump during your descent. Um, some people like the more Apollo style of moon landing, and that's fine too. There's rendezvousing in orbit of the moon where you can launch two different vehicles that's fine too lots and different options in design but I, I find this one I think is the simplest okay I'm gonna go to the moon's view let's reduce throttle here a little bit Draw a lot try and keep it on to that maneuver node more or less here it comes okay and I'm just going to just keep going until this gets around 12. Like I said, we'll probably adjust it anyway. Uh, we'll definitely be adjusting it, but that's okay. Okay. So, yeah, see, because I actually did a reasonable job of making this equatorial, this is equatorial. So, I do want to put a little bit of... And, again, I'm looking... Yeah, below the northern basin, which is this zone. I mean, that's a nice, big, wide zone to go for. That might be worthwhile. And it'll be even in more light as we go out there. Oh, no. Yeah, it will. I think. Not sure. Moon confuses me with its tidal locking. There are highland craters. Oh, they're hard to spot. This guy here might be a highland crater right there. They're hard to spot. Okay, let's um, let's do an inclination. I got plenty of fuel. The higher the inclination, as far as picking your landing spot, the better. So let's see, and we'll bring this in again. So a little bit of normal there, and a little bit of retrograde to bring that back. Oh, prograde. Sorry. Actually, maybe I always like to check. Let's put this back to zero go back to here what affects your in and out more because sometimes it's radial so like give yourself a little bit of radial does that much and prograde does that much so prograde is a better way to go <laughs> but it's worthwhile checking okay so I want that around 12 kilometers I'm starting to think the northern basin might be the the easier target here see and then that will give me 
You got to remember your inclination maybe a little bit higher. Okay, and now back in. Program. Oh, that's going on totally polar. I don't need to go totally polar. A little less that way. A little more retrograde. Don't need to go totally polar. So, I mean, that's the ultimate way of making sure you get over every possible landing spot is to put yourself polar. I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. We'll do it like that. So, we'll come in. Nice jaunty, jaunty slant on our orbit. Okay, so that's coming up in one hour and 14 minutes. Notice it's only a um, one second burn. So what I like to do, put this back on orbital. What I like to do is just turn down the thrust limiter on this so that the burn is longer. Because I find doing really tiny short burns to be actually kind of awkward. I don't know why I'm being so picky. There we go. And also, yeah, the view is nice. Also, uh, once we're into, there we are, over 250, we're in high space. Now, we have been in high space before, but it's worth, especially for the goo. Oh, maybe not, 0.4. Maybe that wasn't worth it. <laughs> Materials pay was 0.4 science. What about the goo? 0.2 science. Okay, I'm, okay, well, now that I've collected it, might as well get it. So collect that one, and it is Bob. Yep, we can restore that. Some people were asked, I was getting asked in the chat before the stream started, because I like to sort of jump in there about 15 minutes before the stream starts, is um, does restock really make that much of a difference? I, I As far as appearance goes, that's the restock retextures the, um, the parts. I find, I find, you get more options as far as textures go um but it does change some parts like i really like if i open these doors i love the new materials bay that's restock look at all that stuff in there isn't that awesome like uh, that's just crazy we will close the doors again but it does change a lot of the part but in no way but somebody was saying i don't know if it really makes that much of a difference. i think it does i think it makes a difference but I guess it's a personal thing. Okay, boarding. All right. Um, I guess we're going to this. Let's go. Okay, so this is just a, a mid-course correction. So I'll put this on to, again, the little icon on the nap ball. I've turned down my thrust limiter so that the burn's like eight seconds long. I'm going to watch it from the moon. There's no reason to wait for this to get to zero because I never really was that accurate in its positioning. It was just about halfway. So we'll just burn it right now. Cut. And I want to look at this periapsis. Did I get the right one? I don't think I did. No. That one. I want that to be about 12. I don't know why 12. I like 12. <laughs> Getting way too picky. There we go. Okay, so we are on our way. I think that should give us a good inclination.